So let's study the differences between the auto cycle and the diesel cycle. The first point under the auto cycle is so auto cycle is named after Nicholas A. Otto, a German engineer who built it in 1876. It was a four stroke SI engine. SI, SI stands for spark ignition. So diesel cycle was first proposed by Rudolf Diesel in 1890s. Now it is a CI engine which stands for compression ignition. Now for auto cycle, for auto cycle, so this is the PV diagram for the auto cycle. Let me name this as 1, 2. So it is clear from this diagram that the auto cycle has two reversible adiabatics. So these are the two reversible adiabatics. These are the two reversible adiabatics. And from 1 to 4 and 2 to 3, these are the two isochores. That is constant volume. So from 1 to 2 it is a reversible adiabatic, from 2 to 3 it is a isochore that is the volume is constant. Again from 3 to 4 we have a reversible adiabatic and from 4 to 1 we have another isochore. Now let's move on to the diesel cycle. So this is what the PV diagram for the diesel cycle looks like. This is 1, this will be 1, this is 2. So unlike the auto cycle, the diesel cycle has two reversible adiabatics. Two reversible, two reversible adiabatics, one isochore and one isobar. This is the isobar, the pressure is constant and this is the isochore, that is the volume is constant. Let me write this down. So this is the isochoric 1 to 4 and 2 to 3 is isobaric. So these are the different PV diagrams for auto cycle and diesel cycle. Now let's move on to the efficiencies. Now the efficiency, the third point is the efficiency. Efficiency for the auto cycle is given by eta of auto is equal to 1 minus 1 divided by rk to the power gamma minus 1. Now let's understand what this means. rk is the compression ratio. So rk is the compression ratio and gamma, gamma is the specific heat ratio. Gamma is the ratio of Cp by Cb. So from this expression, one thing is clear that lower the value of compression ratio lower the value of compression ratio higher will be this term this 1 by rk this term will be higher if the rk is lower that is undesirable so what we want is we want higher compression ratios we want the engine to operate at higher compression ratios because if rk is high if rk is higher then this 1 by rk to the power gamma minus 1 this term will start to diminish because rk is higher then this term will start to diminish and if this term falls down then this entire term this entire term will start to rise that is what i am trying to tell is the eta that is the efficiency will be higher if the compression ratio is higher this is what i am trying to say so let's write this down eta eta for auto efficiency of auto cycle is higher if the compression ratio is higher so now let's move on to the diesel cycle so this is the expression for the diesel cycle efficiency eta, eta diesel efficiency of diesel cycle is given by 1 minus 1 by gamma into 1 by rk to the power gamma minus 1 into rc to the power gamma minus 1 divided by rc minus 1 now if this is confusing to you let me put in the brackets it would make the expression way more easier to understand so instead of putting brackets, I have circled the terms with yellow colors. These yellow colored circles are all multiplication terms. First, let's, let's explain this RC term. RK is same, it is the compression ratio. Gamma is also same, it is the specific heat ratio. But this RC term is new. This RC stands for the cutoff ratio. So RC is the cutoff ratio. Now one thing which you need to note is, in this expression, RC cutoff ratio is always greater than 1. So I can tell that 1 by gamma, it is observed that 1 by gamma into RC to the power gamma minus 1 divided by RC minus 1. This entire term, this entire term is also greater than 1. So if I consider the expression now, 1 minus something, so this term I am considering it as x. So x is greater than 1 and I am multiplying it with 1 by rk to the power gamma minus 1 so you can clearly see that i am multiplying this term this rk 
to the power gamma minus 1 this term I am multiplying with a term which is greater than 1 so this will get higher and if this term gets higher then this entire 1 minus this term will get lower so it is clear that efficiency efficiency of diesel cycle efficiency of diesel cycle is less than that of efficiency of auto cycle this is what I am trying to say I will repeat this once again here we have only 1 minus 1 by rk to the power gamma minus 1 we do not have any factors which are multiplied by this term but here we have these two factors which are multiplied to this term hence as these are greater than 1 this term and this term are both greater when multiplied are greater than 1 hence turns out that this factor is somewhat higher and thus the entire expression starts to fall thus auto cycle efficiency is always greater than that of diesel cycle efficiency now let's move on to the let's move on to the fourth point the fourth point is compression ratios are lower for si engine but for diesel engine or ci engine CI engines operate at higher compression ratios. CI stands for compression ignition, SI stands for spark ignition. Fifth point is, so the fifth point is mixture of air and fuel is compressed during the compression stroke. This is for the SI engine and for CI engines, now for diesel engines only air is compressed during the compression stroke, hence they can operate at higher compression ratios compared to the SI engines in which mixture of air and fuel is used. Now as the mixture of air and fuel is used, it is more prone to detonation or knocking and hence the compression ratio is limited due to this reason. So these were the five important differences between auto cycle and diesel cycle. Thank you.